the U.S. Congress passed a resolution late on Tuesday calling on President Donald Trump to condemn hate groups after Trump was criticized for his response to the violence at a white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, a month ago. The U.S. House of Representatives unanimously adopted the resolution. U.S. Representative Jerry Connolly, a Democrat from Virginia, said in a statement. The Senate approved the measure on Monday. Tonight, the House of Representatives spoke in one unified voice to unequivocally condemn the shameful and hate filled acts of violence carried out by the KKK, Ku Klux Klan, white nationalists, white supremacists, and neo Nazis in Charlottesville, Connolly said. The joint resolution, passed with the support of both Republicans and Democrats, will go to Trump for his signature. Representatives for the White House did not respond immediately to an email seeking comment. The congressional resolution calls on Trump to condemn hate groups, and what it describes as the growing prevalence of extremists who support anti Semitism, xenophobia, and white supremacy. It also urges Attorney General Jeff Sessions to investigate acts of violence and intimidation by white nationalists, neo Nazis the Ku Klux Klan and similar groups. Trump alienated fellow Republicans, corporate leaders and U.S. allies, and rattled markets last month with comments about the violence in Charlottesville, where white nationalists and neo-Nazis clashed with anti-racism activists on August 12. One woman, Heather Hare, was killed and several people were wounded when a suspected white nationalist crashed his car into anti-racist demonstrators. The congressional resolution calls Hayer's death a domestic terrorist attack. James Alex Fields, a 20-year-old Ohio man who authorities say drove into Hayer and other protesters, has been charged with second-degree murder and other criminal counts. 